Good morning Pisces, welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. It's going to be a reading of Pisces dealing with each one of the zodiac signs. So this could be romantic, this could be work related, this could be friendship, family, you know, apply the context wherever it goes. But basically that's the structure of the reading that we're going to be doing today. Before we start, thank you guys so much for being here, for being part of the Pisces Club. And if by any chance you're not a part of the Pisces Club just yet, you just have to click on that subscribe button, it's totally free, and you're going to receive daily-ish readings for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoa. Looking very professional. <laughs> oh no, these are all... Well, as I go ahead and organize these cards, um, I want to let you know, guys, that the Tarot Level 1 course is already open for enrollment. So those of you who want to learn Tarot with me and go in this journey with me and um, learn from scratch, well, there you go. The course is already up and running. So you guys can go ahead and check it out, see if it resonates through the link that is in the description box below. Alright, now we're ready. Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, sun, Venus. Pisces. Dealing with Aries. We've got the Queen of Cups. Pisces dealing with Aries. Alright, so right now, the connection that you may have with an Aries, whether it is of any nature really, it's going to be feeling quite intuitive, it's going to be feeling quite soulful, spiritual almost, very emotional. Beware of a tendency for victimism, whether it is um, within you or within the other person. There tends to be this victim role that is kind of like bouncing back and forth between you guys. That's what I'm feeling. Um, beware. You don't have to bring it to the light. You don't have to talk about it. You just have to try your best to not hold it. You know, try your best to present yourself within this situation, this dynamic, with a empowered sense of self as opposed to a victim mentality. And as you do so, the other person will kind of like notice and they're going to try to follow you on that example. So that's going to be very helpful for the dynamic itself, okay? That goes for Pisces dealing with Aries. Now, remember that not everything here is going to resonate. This may be your reading. This may not be your reading. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest because the rest may be for the other Pisces that will resonate. Um, if this is not your reading, you can always go back to the channel and there's like a million zillion readings <laughs> for Pisces and they're all timeless. So you can click on whichever one feels right for you and that message is going to be for you, okay? Now, Pisces dealing with Sagittarius. Page of Wands. All right. So for the Pisces that are dealing with a Sag, you may notice that you're both in a very passionate, motivated, inspired energy. You may notice that you come together um, to create, to dream, to manifest, to make things happen. You've got right now a very fiery connection, a very fluent connection too, like things just kind of like go right within you guys. There may be a possibility for travel, adventure, spiritual discovery. It's like, what I see is like two best friends, maybe two teenagers or two kids. And I'm not saying that you're kids, I'm saying like that very young energy of like discovering everything new. I see that. I see two like best friends, you know, wishing to take on the world, you know, to explore everything, to feel everything, to enjoy everything and it's quite exciting i do have to say very positive energy here i like it all right pisces dealing with leo i don't do reversals guys by the way we've got the five of swords all right so pisces dealing with leo 
This is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a little bit more conflicting. You're going to notice that this person is preoccupied. You're going to notice that this person is going through stuff. Not necessarily bad. Not necessarily good. This person is probably just going through lots of movement in their life. And they're trying to keep it all together. They're trying to do everything that they need to do. Do it well and don't let um, stuff slip through the cracks is what I'm hearing. And you may notice that they're a little tense, but that doesn't necessarily has to affect your um, dynamic. Just make sure that you're pulling your end. Make sure that you are kind of like, um, how do you say that? You are pulling your weight. So this person doesn't have to make up for that because they are going through a lot and Whatever you can do to make it easier for them, I think would really serve them. Um, there's a conflicting energy, aggressive energy, but I don't feel like it's necessarily addressed or directed at you. But if, I mean, this would happen with anyone, right? If you have someone who is, you know, going crazy, trying to complete everything, and they're, you know, spreading themselves way too thin, and then on top of that, you are being like super lazy or you're not doing your your part of the deal or you're just like, that's obviously going to rob them the wrong way. You know, anyone doesn't have to be a Leo, doesn't have to be a Pisces, you know, um, just make sure that you are doing what you are supposed to be doing in your end of the connection and support them, give them maybe some space as they are, you know, trying to figure everything out. All right. But it's, it's. It's a potentially conflicting energy, but I don't feel like it's going to be aimed at you unless you make it. You know, if you rub them the wrong way, if you start bothering them, distracting them, kind of like being in their face. Yeah, it could explode your way. It could. All right. Pisces dealing with Capricorn. Seven of Wands. Okay, guys, it's important that you speak your truth here. It's important that you, first of all, identify exactly how you feel in regards to maybe something that you're discussing with a Capricorn. How do you feel? Why do you feel this way? Um, and are you ready to back up that perspective? Once you say yes to all those things, then it is very important for you to express yourself and find a way to negotiate in which your values and your needs are met. Don't hide your truth. Don't go along with whatever they say just for the sake of avoiding conflict. This is an important time in which you need to step up and you need to um, be very mindful that if something goes south, it could be going south because you're not speaking your truth or you're not demanding to be heard. Okay, so please make sure that whatever happens, you are coming forth because otherwise you might be ready to remember. Okay. Virgo. Pisces dealing with a Virgo. Knight of Wands. All right. Lots of passion. But what I'm seeing here, what I'm feeling here, is this Virgo person coming in way too strong. Way too fiery. Way too determined. It may make you feel a little repelled. Because I feel like, Pisces, you may be in a very um, balanced energy of flowing. But I feel like this person is coming in so aggressively towards you, maybe in a positive way, you know, maybe this is romantic or, you know, professional, but they're just so fiery that you're like, I don't, I'm just, you know, like it makes you uncomfortable is what I'm feeling. So if you need your own space, look for your own space. Don't let this person's fire burn you. And they, they may not, you know, have any kind of negative intention at hand at all. You know, they're just very excited or they're very obsessed or they're very um, passionate about something to a point in which it's just evaporating your water, you know, and, and you don't want that. 
Pisces. Pisces dealing with a Taurus. Page of Swords. Okay. Pisces dealing with a Taurus. So you may realize that this person very shyly, very quietly may start to kind of like walk your way. They may want to talk to you, share with you the good things of life. Maybe there's a Taurus that wants to catch up with you, Pisces, in some way. Maybe someone you haven't seen in a while. This person respects you. They're a little bit intimidated by you, honestly. Um, because they feel like they have wronged you in the past. In some way. Maybe they have not honored you enough in the past. And maybe this is something that you know, Pisces. Or maybe this is something that only they feel. You know? But they're trying to communicate. They see you from a distance. They watch you, Pisces. And you watch them, too. It's like you watch their Instagram stories or their Instagram posts or you connect every so often. I'm getting a good vibe from this person, honestly. Very chill. Pisces dealing with a Libra. Wow, six of pentacles. Interesting. Very interesting. So... Pisces, right now, if you're dealing with a Libra, there's a good chance that things are balancing out. If you felt like you were putting in too much into the connection, it's balancing out. Or if you felt like the other person was putting in too much in the connection and you weren't, it's balancing out. Um, fairness, justice is coming in. Balance is coming in to the connection. Um, and it, it may have something to do with resources, abundance, money, um, finances. It's like you are maybe rearranging an agreement in such a way that benefits you both because you notice that it was unbalanced in the past. Also, some of you guys could be receiving maybe a financial gift from a Libra. This could be like a bonus if you have a Libra boss. Or this could be like a inheritance if you have a, a Libra family member that wants to, or you know, any kind of financial support. It doesn't have to be an inheritance. Um, trying to give in or support you somehow. Pisces dealing with a Gemini. Ooh, the devil. <laughs> All right, can this be any more clear? Pisces, if you're dealing with a Gemini right now, the connection may be a little bit toxic, and it may be a little bit more toxic than you realize. Um, Pisces, the Devil card often speaks about temptations and things that feel right in the moment or feel satisfying in the moment, but then afterwards you realize that in the long term, they're really not good for you. Um, you may be dealing with a Gemini who's thinking of a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn. This could be a toxic relationship of some sort um, or a third party situation. This person wants to have sex with you is what I'm hearing. Um, they really feel passionate for you physically. Yeah, it's toxic. I don't know. I don't know what it is. For many of you, it's romantic. What I'm, what I'm getting is the, or sexual. It's just like a intimate connection. But in, even in work or family, if you're dealing with a Gemini, you may feel like it's, it's getting a little toxic. Or it's getting very toxic. Pisces dealing with an Aquarius. Two of Wands. Okay. Pisces, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's a good chance that you guys have found a way to um, align yourself with a good outcome, align yourself, align yourself with a good path. <laughs> I can't even speak path. <laughs> um, it's like maybe things were not clear before. Maybe you had to have some kind of important conversation. Maybe you guys needed to negotiate something, but now it seems like you're in the right path. Okay, so it seems like you guys have figured it out. And you can continue to be um, to walk in that direction with faith because it's it seems to be the right direction for you guys, right? It's good. You figured something out here, and now you're on the way. 
Now, Pisces dealing with a Pisces. Wow, the chariot, that's beautiful. It seems like you guys are very balanced. It seems like you guys are moving forward. Same goals in mind, but different in their own way. It's like you're both moving towards a specific goal, but you want to do it your own way. And let me use an example. Let's say that you're both working on financial freedom, but each one of you is doing it differently. It's honoring each one of your, your perspectives or desires or way of doing things. It's like very authentic and you're moving forward. There's success and there's victory here. Pisces dealing with a cancer. The moon. Okay. Pisces, um, if you're dealing with a cancer right now, you may realize that things are partially illuminated. It's like you kind of understand. You kind of get them. You kind of know what's happening. But there's this feeling like there's always something kind of hidden. It's like you can't put your finger on it. Feels foggy. You wonder if there's unconscious blockages or behaviors on their end making things the way they are or on your end. It seems a little bit confusing. There's always, there's always something that you don't get, that you don't fully understand in this connection. Sorry that there's not a bigger conclusion. You know, it's just, that's what I'm getting. Pisces dealing with a Scorpio. Page of Pentacles. Pisces dealing with a Scorpio. So, oh, this is so funny. Every time, this, this deck I feel, I think it's made by Ciro Marchetti. And he always includes his initials, which happen to be my initials too. So my actual name is not Katie, fun fact, it's Catherine with a C. So Catherine McLaughlin, like CM, Ciro Marchetti. <laughs> Every time I see it, it's just like, ooh. <laughs> um, anyway, the Page of Pentacles. So some of you guys may be retreating a little bit within your connection, feeling a little bit distracted, feeling like you need to go within it's like they're going to go within themselves and you're going to go within yourselves and you're sharing a common energy that's very introspective. Focus on the beauty and pleasure of the daily. Focusing on connecting to maybe nature or your heart chakra or unconditional love. There's lots of green here. Money too. But I feel like it's, it's as though you were bonding with a Scorpio through like very introspective things like reading books, staying home, I don't know, just chilling. Sorry guys if you feel, I'm sorry if you hear um, Tao in the background. He's trying to open up a cabinet. He learned that himself. Even though I tried so hard for him not to learn, he figured it out. <laughs> And I kind of feel a little bit proud of him, although it's very annoying for him to open the cabinets because he gets inside and he slips inside. And then I don't know where he is for hours. I don't find him and he's, he's inside of one of the kitchen cabinets. Cat life. <laughs> but yeah, with the Scorpio, it's on, honestly a little bit unclear. But there is a peacock here, so there's a lot of magic and abundance and beauty for sure. So yeah, my fishies, this is what I have for you today, Pisces dealing with. I'm going to be probably doing these readings more often. I want to remind you all that um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Apparently, I heard from another reader that when YouTube changes something or updates something, often um, the notification system gets a little bit shaken. So if you haven't been receiving notifications from me, if you're used to receiving the notifications from me on the daily and you haven't um, recently, 
you can go ahead and unsubscribe and subscribe back or something like that or like check your notifications to make sure that they're um, programmed in the way that you want them to be because I don't know it seems like they got a little sidetracked and I did see that in the amount of views per reading they went down significantly so yeah also guys um, I don't know if I already told you this in the beginning, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, the Tarot Level 1 course covering the whole journey of the Major Arcana is already open for enrollments. It's $49 and it includes many, many videos that will guide you through this whole process and will prepare you for the rest of the Tarot as well. It's mainly a course designed for beginners. Although if you already read tarot, you know, you, you might just want to refresh things and get a little bit of a new perspective. You can do so too, okay? But keep in mind that it's a beginner course for those of you who have never really even had a tarot, okay? I love you, my fishies. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.